For a patient who's going through leg lengthening surgery and in the lengthening and the consolidation phases, a patient often has to buy some of the most hard to find items that are rarely used. What are some examples? Well, here's some stuff I had to buy when I was leg lengthening. This is a hand extension grabber. It makes it easier to grab things that are pretty far away. And here is a mini exercise bicycle machine where you can practice your bicycle, exercise your leg muscles with like you were with a bicycle. Here's the resistance knob and um, just put this in front of you and just start pedaling away in front of you. Or you might, for physical therapy, you might need what's called a massage ball that was helpful, like this. It's right now it's disassembled, but it comes with two, a red and a, this is a KT massage ball. It comes with a blue ball for cold and a red ball for heat. For the blue, you put this in a freezer, or the red, you put it in a microwave to heat it up. And then, depending on which one you need, you put it into the steel case. then put it into this bigger plastic case and just massage it around your leg that's sore so it can come in hot or cold. Or you might have a e-stim machine to help you, especially a few weeks after surgery when your legs are very weak. It comes out and um, you, you put these on your le legs, one for each leg, and I'll also put a pad at the end of each terminal and to give you a little boost when you're doing your physical exercises, such as leg extensions. I do have a WordPress blog site that has a page of the essential equipment that is necessary for a leg lengthening patient. The URL to the blog site and the page it's in the description of this video. I will go over each of these items one by one. But before we start, uh, I do recommend that you do get a Amazon Prime account because Amazon is the best place to get all these hard to find items and they ship very efficiently and cheaply. And with an Amazon Prime account, you'll save a lot of money. Here's the blog site and blog page for the essential equipment and services for precise patients. It's primarily geared toward internal nail lengtheners. For external fixators, there may be some differences, but this is primarily for internal lengtheners. I have equipment in two colors, bold green and bold black. Bold green means it's important for precise patients but maybe not so much for the stride patients who are a full weight bearing nail, even though the stride's not currently not available as of this moment. And items in bold black are important for both precise and stride patients. And another disclosure, I am an Amazon affiliate. If you buy the product by clicking on the product links below, it will help support the Height Journey channel so I can continue to help you out as well. You will never pay any more than buying the product separately on Amazon. And I don't really make a whole much, lot of money, maybe like one to 3% on average, but it's, anything will help out. I, I picked the best items I could that are very similar in quality, usefulness, ratings, and the lowest price I could find because I know how expensive it is and how much you need to save money. So here we go. The first item, the wheelchair. It's in green, so it's not necessary for the full weight bearing patients, but for a partial weight bearing nail, like the precise, it is definitely a necessity. I started off my wheelchair list with a light 
weight wheelchair, even though it's a little more expensive, but it's lightweight at 34 pounds, which makes it easier to move around and carry in a car or vehicle. Also, don't forget the seat cushion since it's usually not included. But I, to give you more variety, I did include a cheaper bargain wheelchair. This one is heavier at 41.25 pounds, and it's a little larger and bulkier than the wheelchair above. I have it here just in case you, you may want to save a little money and so you have more options. This is why I made the recommendations. The first one I recommended, the lightweight one, even though it's more expensive, but it's lightweight at 34 pounds, you'll find it more convenient and because you're going to be using this for months. The second one I put down was cheaper for sure, but it's definitely heavier and it's going to be harder to get around. But I left that as an option as well. I also found a third wheelchair. It looks like a good bargain at first, but I did not include that in the recommended list because well, not be was also 41 pounds like the previous one. But if, if you look at the lower leg rest here or the calf rest here, it doesn't have the flip bar calf rest. It only has a strap that covers it. So it's going to be very inconvenient to keep reaching down every time if you want to separate the leg rests to get on, a, get on or off a walker or use a mini exercise bicycle machine or do other like PT exercises. You'll find it very inconvenient to keep reaching down to unstrap this. It's also going to be less comfortable on your calves. The next essential item is the walker. It's in bold black, so it's important for both precise patients and stride patients. The standard walker is recommended with two wheels on front and two legs on the back. When you get the walker, don't forget the walker accessory bag. It makes it a lot easier to carry stuff around when you're using your walker. For using the toilet, a toilet seat with raised handles or toilet safety rails can be necessary. It's in bold green, so it's definitely necessary for precise patients, but it's a maybe for stride patients. The toilet seat with raised handles is preferable because no installations or tools are necessary. It's portable to almost any toilet and you can take it with you anywhere you want. And three, the raised seat means you don't have to squat as low, so it's easier to get up and safer on your internal nails. When you're taking a shower, a shower chair with raised handles will be very important for your own safety. Urine bottles are helpful for lengthening patients because you will have to make less trips to the bathroom. It's in dark green, so it's essential for precise patients, but maybe for stride patients. It's only useful for men, even though there are urine bottles for women, but not the kind that's a female leg lengthening patient can really use. Cold packs are very important. After surgery, you're going to have a lot of swelling for at least three weeks. So you'll need cold packs to help alleviate the swelling. You put these cold pack gels inside the freezer and let it freeze up. And then when it's ready, first put a light cloth or light sweatpants or a light towel around your legs so you don't get frostbite and then place it against the swelling area for about 10 to 20 minutes. Another helpful tool, the hand extension grabber. Since you're going to be very limited in mobility, this helps you reach stuff and pick stuff up. Disposable bath wipes are helpful for leg lengthening patients. It will help you wash your hands, face, and other areas to make your lengthening phase a lot easier. There's a link to it in the replenishable supplies page and it's also recommended you don't flush it down the toilet even though it says flushable because it may clog up your toilet. Forearm crutches are important but they're not needed immediately after surgery. For precise patients, forearm crutches are needed until the consolidation phase when the patient is ready to walk independently and it's done with a walker. For stride patients, they'll use the walker 
for probably a few weeks after surgery, then transition to the forearm crunches a few more weeks after they're done with a walker. For precise patients, you might have trouble brushing your teeth or using mouthwash. So having some extra large plastic containers or cups can help you a lot and make it easier. A toilet stool makes it easier to use a toilet. It's highly recommended if you're using a raised toilet seat with handles, unless you want your feet to be dangling off the toilet seat. But if you have just a regular toilet, it's more optional. A KT massage ball, as I showed you earlier, gives a good massage to your sore muscles. And you can have hot or cold. A stretching strap is important to do stretching exercises as well as other PT exercises at your home. A foam roller will help enhance some of your PT exercises as well. Resistance bands or straps that are stretchable will help with your PT strengthening exercises. This helps stimulate bone consolidation and formation and also will help strengthen your weakened leg muscles. A massage stick roller can be used to massage your leg muscles to relieve muscle soreness, cramping, and tightness. A mini exercise bicycle machine is helpful for building your leg muscles and stimulating bone formation. Finally, there is also a page for replenishable supplies for limb lengthening patients. The link to the URL of this page is in the description of this video.